Yeah, I know. Right? Hello there, everyone. My name is Brad Janier, and today I'm going to be doing a thing of me reading a TF2 creepypasta. Today, uh, mm -hmm. Magic Chucks is going to be listening to me read this. Yeah. It's called Craft Number 666. I can't wait. Sure, boy. Let's -a go. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> the story. Good thing they told us that this is uh, the story. It was a nice Thursday walking home from school. I remembered it was a, it was drop day, the day when the drop system starts giving items. So I got my computer and started idling. Oh, oh, oh. So I got on my computer and started idling. I thought I said get... So I got my computer... It was a crazy thing to to be idle. It never works nowadays, but I do it anyways. Later in the game, I received one refined metal as a drop as a drop item. Boy, was I shocked, because everyone knows Valve didn't add refined metal to the drop system. But I didn't care. I got something interesting for once. Me in a nutshell, when I got my first hat drop. Uh, Magic, you, knew, you do know you can talk, right? Yeah, I know. Okay, okay, okay. How could my day get any better, I thought, because I had two refined in my backpack. The possibilities are endless, I told myself. I carefully took the refined out and put it onto the craft table. I was so excited I finally, I finally crafted my first hat. What? You just crafted your first hat? Are you serious? Uh, wishing myself luck, I clicked the craft button. I waited, then it finished. It was an agonized sh there was an agonized shriek that made your heart skip a beat. The prompt wasn't the same as, as it was before. Instead of saying craft succeeded, it was backwards. Wait, wait, so it would be dead east. I don't know. I, I was confused. I just thought it was a bug. This couldn't have been hacked, I thought. Because, for one, it was it's an online game. for From an official company. What? Then the screen flickered for a split second. Then the item was displayed. I didn't have... I didn't even have to click the OK button. It showed the mining hat. People considered it a bad hat. But I didn't care about that. I noted, What I noticed what was the engineer. He was more gloomy. Yet his shirt was extremely darker and his eyes were glowing red. The thing that got me most was the craft number. The devil's number. I think... Th that was a little creepy. You didn't say you thought. Anyways, considering the fact that the engineer looked demonic, my friend just had got here and was behind me the rest of the story. Oh, okay. The hat itself wasn't too bad. I equipped it on my engineer. Once I equipped the hat, the screen flickered again. That's Then that's when I thought the game was being hacked, as the engineer had the most disturbing grin I've ever seen, and his shirt was more darker. I couldn't believe my eyes. What the hell is going on? My friend left terrified. I turned off the game for the day and went to bed. What the fuck is this? Sleep, sleep is overrated. The next morning, I went to get ready for school. I didn't forget about what happened yesterday, so I was going to tell my friends about what happened. Last night, I, s I spread the rumor about what happened to the game. Most of the people at my school didn't play TF2, so they didn't really care. <coughs> nice. Everyone at my school, and I'm not pretty much almost everyone at my s at my school, in a nutshell. Yeah. Anyways. I got, I got, I got to my friends and told them about what happened. They were shocked to hear about this, because at that moment, one of them was asking me to meet at their house tonight to show them. 
that night I put on my jacket and told my parents I was going to a friend's to my friend's house for a visit. I told them I'd be back by 9 p.m. I, I said okay and left. My friend invited me in and and she led me to her gaming computer. Silly See? person, females don't play games. Anyways. Get, get your facts right. Man. Anyways, it was complex for me because the keyboard was split in half. But I didn't think that was a prob but I didn't think that was a problem. I was I was a fast typer anyway. So so what you're telling me is, is that she got super angry and was just like whoosh, broke what it in half. Is this? I don't know. My friend told me to show her the hat and looked over it it over very carefully. My friend was an expert at programming at the moment. At the moment? Why? I don't know. Anyways, she said it was normal. Lots of items have the craft number 666. Then I told her about the engineer. She was disturbed to hear that because she told me to to kindly leave. I, I thought she said, I thought it said kidney. Kidney leave. Mm. <laughs> you have, you have stuff in you. Anyways, I headed home only to find this nightmare to become much worse. I got on my computer to play TF2. I picked engineer. The frick not like nothing happened on, on day one. And started playing the most people, and started playing like most people did. Like, I had fun. <gasps> Nobody has fun on TF2. Not anymore. Not after the uh, para not after the hall meet your match thing came out. Oh yeah. Yeah, but anyways, uh, let's see here. Uh, some of my friends were on the same server with me. Then it started getting more disturbing over time. But the map was slowly turning red. Oh shoot! Something scary about to happen. Dude, my computer actually just flickered. <laughs> it's probably nice. nothing. It's probably nothing. Uh, the screen was blur. It was was blurring, and then my friend w and my teammate slowly died off. Rip. What? I don't know, but rip. 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 Eventually, rip. I was the only one left, and blue team was just standing there looking at me. Like I was their worst nightmare. I'm pretty sure they're bots. They better be. Yeah. Okay, okay. Where am I? Oh. One try one tried to shoot at me and it did nothing. I tried to move, but the keyboard took control of everything. I was just sitting there watching my characters slaughter everyone. Every person I killed left. The engineer eventually was the only one left on the server. I sat out there watching him, then the most high-pitched scream I've ever heard crashed my game. I couldn't play anymore. I was scared. How could Valve allow this to happen? I went to bed. I was playing TF2 again, but I was a spy. Play I played as usual. I came across an engineer with his buildings, uh, and I... I got and as I got closer with my sapper, the background became more blurred and darker. Then the word then the world paused. I couldn't move. The engineer slowly turned around with the same disturbing details I saw in the character loadout. I I was horrified, unable to come to comprehend what what was was going to happen. Ugh, Jesus. Next I just started I just stared at the screen with my eyes filled with fear. He walked toward me with a devilish grin on, with a bloody face. Jesus, this is long. Uh, I'll just get to the end because I've only got like like a minute left. Uh, pretty much. Okay, okay. Anyways, he ripped off my arm, holding the sapper, and blood started to spray everywhere. Then the engineer s told me, "Now just stop trying to mess with my contraptions, Nick." I immediately got on my computer and started up TF2 and and deleted my hat. Never to find those occurrences happen again. I thought it was over. Then I heard a clank uh, on my window. I looked to find a man standing, sitting there. He looked up w and waved at me. Then he disappeared with no trace. I quit TF2 ever since, and I still have nightmares of the engineer sluttering me every night. What the heck was that? 
Way to go. Way good creepypasta. Anyways, that has been a creepypasta. See you all in the next video. Bye.